through the four or five weeks indoor practice without any injuries, and the pitchers will be up to 90, 95 pitches by the time we leave. So we're on target to where we want to be. And as far as improvements that we can make, uh, I mean, I don't think we did anything particularly well. I mean, I think we need to be better defensively. Uh, we need to uh, uh, score more runs. And the pitching last year, we were limited where we only had three or four arms, and those guys really had to uh, sometimes stay out there when normally they wouldn't have in a, in a better depth situation. So I think those are all things we're going to have to improve upon to turn around a, a really bad season last year. Well, we brought in, brought in 15 freshmen this year and four junior college players, so 19 guys total come in this year. Uh, Boyman and Cole Peterson, who's outstanding defensively, and we think to have our best team out there, we struggled at the third base side of the field last year, so we moved Thad, one of our most successful players, over to third, and the newcomer, Cole Peterson, is going to play short, and I think defensively, uh, he'll handle the position extremely well at the Division One level. Uh, I think a lot of, like a lot of freshmen, he may struggle at the plate, uh, but we think his uh, defense will make up for that. Another freshman that uh, uh, will get an opportunity right off is a right-handed pitcher, uh, Brandon Schlimm. Brandon uh, is an upper 80s, low 90s guy with a uh, pretty uh, uh, decent curveball and changeup. So we think uh, he's got an opportunity to be a starter and possibly even a conference starter right from the beginning. Uh, some other freshmen that we think will contribute this year are Aaron Phillips, a right-handed pitcher and an outfielder, um, uh, Nate Grant, a left-handed pitcher, and John Navinci, a right-handed hitter off the bench. I think all of those guys will contribute some. Well, uh, uh, the guys who did play a lot last year that are uh, returning are Tyler Bell in center field, uh, Brett Heath in right field, Johnny Diaz in left field, um, Dylan Dunn, uh, those four guys uh, really have to help carry that young group of guys and the junior college guys, because even the junior college guys, they might be 21 years old, but it'll be their first time uh, um, really contributing uh, and playing at a Division One level. So uh, we need those guys who did play a lot and are returning this year to uh, uh, be able to help us out. So I'll go down. Uh, get some ground balls, get some fly balls, uh, the young guys getting their feet wet and getting uh, some confidence. And we may not win a ton of games early, but you hope to start getting close to that 500 mark by the end, by the middle of the season and by the end of the year. If you're any good, uh, you'll get yourself above it and get in the hunt. Well, you know, guys are getting as much work as they can, getting ready to go down to Florida on Thursday. Uh, everyone's excited from what I've observed, and uh, I think we're going to do well and hopefully start the season off right. Personally, my expectations this year are higher than they've ever been. Uh, like I said, we've got a lot of new guys coming in, filling roles, and we got the core guys coming back. And we're just excited to get off that plane, get on the field, and start playing, and see what we got. Um, all the new guys have been working hard. They uh, have adjusted well coming in, and they know their roles. And uh, I'm excited to see what they're going to do for the season. I think everyone's ready. I mean, everyone's been putting in work. I think we all feel confident, and we're excited to start the season and see where it goes.